everyone, Alex Matt here, and welcome back to another session of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Revisit. Last time, let's check our hero's path. No, not that. There we go. I think last time, we, uh, we did Varuta. That's what we did. We went up to, uh, we went up here at Pumpless Mountain, did everything here. We also took care of... Man, look how much we live around here for just getting Varuta. It's, an, it's a kind of interesting. Completed Varuta. Then we did Zora Round by getting some stuff, such as a shrine here with... <coughs> and, um... So... We got uh, we also got Zora's Lake. Sorry, a little bit of cut there off there. But we got, uh, we got Roto Lake up here. We got the Zora Helmet. We got the entirety of the Zora Armor equipped for us. And we decided to go after a few shrines here. We also got our house started down here, our Link's house. <laughs> and so I will uh, try to get more items here so we can get this fully upgraded so we can get all the weapon slots for it. And then we decided to go out here following the trees and to find a shrine here, which we left Cuckoo in the cold for an entire week. So, with that said, I think we will continue on with uh, going back down here. There's a shrine over here we need to collect. And there is a shrine over here we should collect now, too. So, let's go after those, shall we? By warping this way. Oh, that map looks very cool. And Rodri on Twitch is saying... The, the DLC map. That's not That's not even the DLC map at the moment. If you're thinking uh, Age of Calamity, no... <laughs> is it, uh, Alex is on on t on Twitch is saying that's good to hear. I've honestly never heard never honestly never played Zelda, so it'll be interesting to watch. So I'm hoping those on Twitch are having a good time. Hope those on YouTube after the fact are also watching this for a good time as well. So let's head out. We're gonna mark uh, mark this way. We need to head out towards that direction. This shrine's a little an awkward spot because it always has these little. No, oh, I ran out of stamina. <laughs> oh, this is a start out to be a great start. And uh, <laughs> again, if, if those, oh, I'm, I'm gonna run out of stamina that way. Ow. Okay, that kind of worked. Okay, that's kind of nonchalant how to actually get around that break. <laughs> oh, my night sword's about to break because you are annoying me, Lazafos. Why am I walking? Cuckoo! Cuckoo, I come here! Come hither! Yes, Cuckoo, you're back! Sorry I left you in the harbor... <laughs> left you in the new uh, plains of the little mountains. Sorry about that. Don't mean to leave you there. You need to come this away. We also have... Oh, Cass is over here. Look at here he is. Here is Cass. What you got for us, good sir? Oh, I wasn't sure that I'd be alone in so remote of a place. Pardon me for not greeting you sooner. Oh. oh, oh, it's you. Although I guess I shouldn't be surprised to see you here. I know of a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed, you know, passed down in the region? Let's hear it. Oh. Excellent. Without further ado. He breaks the rocks that serve to bind. Above the temperature of Tormodus Bay. I said that wrong. <laughs> on wings of cloth and wood entwined, he lands on the altar to open the way. The Tempest Bay from the song could be at this very bay. But what sort of wings that are made of cloth and wood? Mm. It's a juicy riddle. But one I may never puzzle out. Take care and may the light illuminate your path. Master of the Wind Shrine Quest. Let's see, I was well talking about this. I'll talk about the YouTube thing too. Again, if you haven't seen the uh, the stream previously on Twitch that I did yesterday at the time of the stream, it'll be that way. But like I said, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna try to edit videos. I'm still gonna edit videos regardless what happens. But again, it's gonna be. I'm gonna again, it's gonna be a break at the time of this stream. It's gonna be so a break. So don't worry. I'm going to I'm going to keep my workload pretty low during the during my break. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Do not fret. I will not basically kill myself in editing overload. 
I'm still gonna take a break. But again, I'm, ta I'm talking for the past tense for the future of the the future viewers watching the channel after the fact here. They're all gonna be like a break. But that wasn't a break. It was nothing else that mattered. <laughs> but you know, the channel the channel I've been uploading you know daily stuff constantly, so it only seems fitting to let the channel cool off a bit. I'm still gonna I'm still gonna I'm still gonna edit videos regardless, but it won't be you know. But the fact that I won't have the stuff immediately available to upload until the break's over. So, oh, hey, that is a new crab. Yes, iron shell crabs. I can now actually cook iron stuff with this. Actually, it's a weird fun fact about um, about this, that crabs were initially not going to be an edible food for Breath of the Wild. I think it was only told, I think, I think it was someone from Nintendo of America. I don't remember who, though. Uh, they were gonna. They mentioned that um, that people actually love eating crabs. So after that, they decided to add crabs to the food items for Breath of the Wild. It's actually Oop, there we go. Another wind. I think that is everything. No, no, I got one rock to move up. I have to get up above here. Oh, I'm stuck in the water. I think that's... I don't want to drown here. Come on, Link. Ow! That rock. <laughs> I do not like that rock one bit. Alright. Normally you should do this with, you know, more stamina in mind, but I'm trying to do it the hard way. The hard way of everything! Rup. There we go. Almost died there. There's another piece of wind that I have. Another piece of rock I have not opened because there should be. I am trying to see where another piece of rock I haven't broken out yet. Because there should be another rock face I should be blowing out because that will give me the full wind effect. You are messing with me here. Out of there, you octo rock. Trying to see. You are. I don't like you. Go away, you Cora or you Octorock. Okay. Oh, I got an Octo Blue. That's the first time I've actually collected those things from them in this file. <laughs> How funny is that? Okay. I'm clearly missing something here, and I think it's in the center here. I think there is something I need to hit. Hope I don't need a bomb arrow or anything for it. Oh yeah, I do. It's right there. Oh, that's fun. Okay, that's what I would need to remember for. Uh, let's see. I am truly not master of the winds here. I am fumbling around in the dark. I need to get around here. Get on the rock. Up on the ice. I'm on Link. There we go. Me too. I might get hurt from this, but... <laughs> there we go. You break all three of those wind vanes in, and now create a wind gust that will allow you to fly all the way to land onto that pedestal. The coffin wood of this puzzle means you need to be gliding on your... You need to use your glider in order to actually hit that platform with ease. But you need to be up high because you need to be higher up off the ground so you can actually catch the wind drift as easy as possible. Let's get up yonder like so. Restore our stamina. Go right here. Hit the wind current. And you fly all the way over. And land. That was supposed to. That was supposed to happen. Am I supposed to? Oh, my. okay. I guess I'm supposed to land ex exclusively with it, not drop on it. Okay. Well, that would have made more sense, game. Uh. Well, that's what you're supposed to do, and somehow it's not triggering. Knowing my luck. Uh. <laughs> Let's get back up there. 
So I'm trying to see if I can probably break it out of that one in the video after the fact. Don't you worry. Now I gotta get back up there. Okay, let's see. Let's try round two of this. <laughs> this game is beautiful, says Rodri in Twitch chat. This game is so beautiful. It is good. I'm just hoping I'm just hoping that the game will be more beautiful in Breath of the Wild 2 whenever it appears. There we go. That is what you should do. That's what you have to do. I don't know why it's so picky. Do it. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> Woo! Master of the Wind is completed. Shall know your shrines up next here. All right, well, and there we go. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that little bit break there. Do 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 do. All right. <clears throat> what is this shrine gonna give us? This is a blessing shrine, so that's pretty easy. Blessing shrine. It's a shrine quest, so most of the time shrine quests will be blessing shrines. Not all the time, but it'll be <sighs> inventory is full yet again. Ugh. <laughs> Fine. Drop you. <laughs> I want my green flame. <laughs> Green flame blade. There we go. Flame blade acquired. Now you guys may be thinking I went to since I went over the uh, Mount Lernero last session that I should go after the Shrine of Wisdom or the Spring of Wisdom. I would, but uh, that is so cold up there. Even with my uh, food, I would be able to craft at the moment. It wouldn't be. I wouldn't be warm enough. To handle it, so I'm probably gonna have to wait until I get to the retail village to get these sort of items to actually handle cold weather. Then I'll actually handle Mount Lunaria's Spring of Wisdom. Don't worry, we are going after every shrine, so don't you fret. We are gonna get there eventually. This is gonna be a long playthrough, so bear in mind. All right, with that out of the way, I need to sell some stuff so I can get some stealthy items. Because we're going to have to do another a mission with Cass over here, over yonder. But in order to do so, I need to get over back over yonder. Back to Kariko Village we go. Rodri in Twitch chat is saying, Shrines are very cool. Once did like 20 shrines with the help of my dad one night. And I called it the Shrine Night. <laughs> well, this is going to be like Cass's night. Because this is Cass's, um, at least for this part of the stream. YouTube broken up wise. We're going after another shrine that deals with Cass as well. So, I guess you're okay. This is casting of the shrines. <laughs> I know it's kind of a bad pun. Let's see how much do I have to sell here. I've got I've got some gold. I got some stuff here. I can get the stealth armor at least somewhat. I don't I don't have any money, so I'm going to have to sell stuff. Coming to this room here, this is where we can get our armor. So if you haven't gotten that, um, the Hylian armor here, you can get it here if you want. But we want to go after this stuff. Oh. Ah. Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. By the by, that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. While, while you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless. It's perfect for hunting and stuff. But it offers a little real defense. Small price for the extra stealth. So we can get here. Ooh, 700? 500 stealth tights. Hmm. Let's see if I can sell some stuff. I want to sell some items. I'm going to have to sell some gemstones off, but that's fine. 260 rupees. That's going to be not enough. I'm going to have to sell a lot more shenanigans just to get at least something that's stealthy wise. Let's see here. 
There's also tails. I might have to come back and grab just... I'm going to be able to only be able to grab one item here. So... That's going to be fun. Let's see, we got... Sunset fireflies grow extra early, moves more quietly. Okay, if that's the case, if, we, if I can grab something that's partially of the stealth set, then I will... Yeah, I can buy one thing of the stealth set. Well, actually, I need to... If I'm actually going to get the stealth set, I have to get all three items. Which I can't get at the moment. So... We'll have to get some more money off of that. But we can, in the meantime, though, get some stealth extra. Get off the sign, Link. Thank you. So if you need to buy the stealth items, you need to do that. But I don't know how the stealth items are going to work well with this quest. Because this quest can be a little finicky. Let's see here. Silent. Silent shrooms. Nope. I went to cook, and it didn't want me to cook. Come on, let me cook my stuff. I was almost about to burn all my food up. <laughs> there we go. Cooking. Cooking. Cook everything. A 10-minute stealth sector. That's good. And I'm going to make some elixir. With some monster parts. Because elixir, elixirs can only be made by monster parts and bugs. Food is separate from that. I got a stealthy elixir. Sneaky elixir. That should be good. Alright. Let's actually do this quest proper this time. And I'm too lazy to walk. Let's travel up this way. Because this quest, this shrine quest, is annoying. Cass will most likely tell us that you need to ride a creature that has a crown of bone. That means you have to get on a buck. A deer of some sort. Cuckoo, come hither! I love this teleportation armor. It makes having a horse a lot more reliable. Because again, before, before the not having the DLC, you would have to go back to one of the stables and get your horse that way. This ancient armor from the DLC pack 2, I think it was? 2 or 1 or 2? Okay, well, both packs, at least at this point. Well, again, we'll give you, like, you know, now you can put this horse armor on, this armor on your horse, and now you can uh, teleport your horse anytime you wish. So it's like, that's great. That basically reduces a much amount of backtracking that you would have to go to another, uh, to, a um, to a stable of some kind to get your horse and then make your trip back. Yeah. Teleportation is awesome. <laughs> Especially for open world games such as this. Now that your horse can fast travel along with you, it is makes getting a horse that much more valuable. So let's see. Let's try to do this quest here. The deer is found here. Well, it's not a specifically one, you know, alpha male deer. The male deers, they'll, they'll appear everywhere. But again, you have to use stealth to your advantage. And riding on horseback is not the best way for stealth. But we need to activate the quest by Cass over here. Here he is. Here's Cass. Now, Cass has a few different locations for us to uncover so that his quest line can be completed, too. Oh. I knew we'd meet again. Man, that was quick. I just flew over here and then you found me. Huh, interesting. Anyway, though, I thought you'd know you would be here. I know of a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse? Let's hear it. Excellent. Without further ado. A beast that wears a crown of bone, prancing through the lush green. Mount the beast upon its throne, for only when the shine is seen. This one gives me so much crap. I have no idea why. I suppose the lush green could refer to this place. But what sort of beast wears a crown of bone? Mm. There's definitely a secret hiding here, but it's beyond me. May the light illuminate your path. Alright, so let's get into this shenanigans that is this quest. You have to... 
be stealthy for the most part. That's not really helping my stealth game there with that sneaky. But we need to find is a creature of, with a crown throne, which is a deer. But again, trying to trying to get up onto this thing is going to be a problem because he's going to be around his females. And the females will most likely look at you at the same time. So you're going to have to be very, very sneaky. I have like level 1 stealth, so my sound should be reduced a little bit. But I do have a level 3 variant now of food that I could use to reduce my stealth ridiculously well. Come on, you. Oh, mm -mm. Don't you dare look at me. And I can probably uh, stasis this guy, but I don't want... Uh, you're looking at me now. Don't look at me. Turn around. Nope. See, any time I was going to move, he's going to run away. Uh, see how I don't like this quest? You have to get on a creature that is very timid and will run away at the mere sight of you. Ugh. All right, all right, come on. Is there going to be another one respawning? I hope they respawn. Which is only because I'm getting close to one of them, and they're like, oh, I hear something, and they turn and look at me. Let's see, there's our creature. There's our creature in question. If I could just get around him. That is... That is friends, his mates, looking at me. I should be able to land on this thing. Okay. If that's the case. Up to stealth. Should not be able to make any sound at all. Shouldn't be able to see me at all. Shouldn't be able to hear me at all. Gonna be up very, very sneakily. But just don't look at me. Just don't look at me. Like I say, look, I don't even have stealth on, and he still finds me. Like, come on. Like, I'm probably gonna be cutting. I'll be cutting out all my failed attempts so I actually get this cursed thing. Okay. He's not looking. I'm very making very little sounds deep inside the grass. Can we never soothe as the L button? Come on. Come on, give me that prompt. There we go. Woo! That's it. Ugh. Ugh. That's the quest. That is the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> Ugh. And again, you you can you can yaw him, whatever, woe him, whatnot. But again, you only use this for one quest, and you don't have to. And this is the only time this has happened, too. So uh, yeah, <laughs> annoying quest. To be fair of myself. No worries. Alright, Cass, I found your Now ride now you have to ride this thing on top of on top here. Do not get off it until you get until that thing turns blue. And now we've got our shrine popping out of the ground. Oof. Yay! I can get off of you. Get out of here. I doubt it. It would be sad too. It would be like, as soon as you get off of the off of the deer, the shrine just goes back into the ground. Like, no, come back here. <laughs> All right, Meza Low Shrine. Let's go in this bad boy. Uh, annoying as it is. <laughs> it's so annoying. I hate that quest so much. Not This is not the most annoying quest, however. The one I'm referring to is the Blood Moon one. That one takes for...
ever. And there is a DLC item that we're going to get pretty soon, hopefully, that will allow us to actually get it. Let's see what we got here. Ancient Trifecta. I believe... Yeah, this... Okay. So I need to... Oh, yeah, I need to freeze this, I think. If I freeze it... It's allow me to... It'll allow this thing to move around. Come around the bend again. And let's see if I can just hit this with an arrow. Not using a bow that uses that. Okay. Let's get this thing over yonder this way. Can we use this metal thing to actually activate? Let's see if I can get a bomb to go off this way. Like a so. We can get this treasure chest. Booyah! Thunderblade! Inventory is full yet again! Ugh! <laughs> uh, let's see, what can I drop? That's about to break anyway. I'll get a Thunderblade. Thank you. Alrighty, so now I need to... Hit this thing once again. And so now, I can put this thing above here. That puts a switch down that opens up the door. But now I need to activate that thing from far away. Luckily, Stasis has like almost an infinite amount of range. So you can use it to trigger the laser sight again. And there you go. Shrine done! Thank you! Yeah, yes. Give me my spirit orb. We're out of here.